quick calculator tutorial. I want to talk about uh, turning on your diagnostic statistics. So this is the information from the uh, child mortality, infant mortality problem from earlier in the example, earlier in the notes. And if I run just a normal linear regression, remember we're going to skip number four, go down to number eight, and we want that a plus b to the power of x. So if I do just a normal calculation with this, it gives me the slope and it gives me the y-intercept. What it doesn't give me yet is r and r squared, so our correlation and coefficient of determination. How I can turn that on in two ways. One of them is by hitting second and then zero, and then you'll see up here it has a little alphabet symbol, so I'm going to press D. I want to go down to diagnostic on. Do, 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 do. There it is, diagnostic on, hit enter, and it's going to say done. Next time when I run linear regression, let me just pull it back up by hitting second enter a couple times. There you go. When I run linear regression, it now gives me that coefficient of determination and R squared. There's one other place you can find that if you have one of these newer calculators. If you hit the mode button, if I scroll down to that next page, it's going to say for stats diagnostics that we have turned those on. That's what we did when we activated that calculator command. So if yours is one of these newer ones, you can turn that on or off just in that menu. And you should always make sure your stats wizard is turned on. All right, that's it for this calculator tutorial. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys.